hands are all tight. Robin's racing, baby! Good grief. Oh, I should stop the car. Probably should have gassed up before we took off. Oops. So I'm lucky that that didn't bite me in the ass, but our gas gauge wasn't on, so whatever. We have sunk through the floor. Better. When the wipers go left, the battery consumes faster or the headlights get brighter. Does the headlights get brighter or one? one? Headlights brighten. Light replacement kit. Back by unlocked or banned. Holy smokes. Hey. You're so intense right now. I love you. Yeah, look at that. A use for the bulb. Oh, yeah. So, like, Noah got food poisoning last week and just wasn't in the mood to eat anything particularly rich. So he just dead ass hit me up and goes, dude, I don't think I'm going to get back to this HelloFresh order before... I feel right. He's like, before, he's like, I don't think I'm gonna feel right um, before it goes bad. He was like, so, he's like, I got all these HelloFresh meals. Do you want them? And I was like, yeah, sure, of course, I'll take your HelloFresh. So he gave me uh, uh, a, like a bulgogi pork dish. And he gave, uh, gave me a, a, like a bibimbap, like a very simple bibimbap dish. Uh, chicken with cheese and a sort of a stroganoff mushroom gravy over roasted potatoes and carrots. And there's a buffalo, uh, like a, a like a bit crispy buffalo chicken dish down there. So I've been cooking up those as lunches for me and Amber and then also doing dinners for the family. Sounds exactly like me talking to my kids, stop eating sugary junk. Uh, so, like, I would love for him to put on weight. He went from his 12th checkup to his 13th checkup and grew four inches and lost a pound. And the doctor was like, I know you and your wife are good people, so I know you're not, like, mistreating him, but, like, he's got to put on some weight. So we've got, like, Carnation Instant Drink Mix and, like, Ensure down there and granola bars. And so there's definitely, like... We're happy for him to eat almost anything. It's just that that anything can't just be, you know, donuts and cookies and chips. Like we're trying to, we're happy. We're happy when he eats just about anything, but yeah, like a big ass bag of Costco trail mix or granola bars. If he'll eat it, by God, I'll have it on hand. I just, I need him to put on a little weight. Right, I need calorie dense. Not empty calories. I don't want him to just basically hit his mid-teens and get, like, type 1 diabetes because all I do is pump it full of candy bars or something. Holy shit, what were we up to? This has been a very stressful but fun day. Uh, let's take you off. You're going to become a panel that gets swapped out for you. And then what else do I have working in here? Armored door is fixed. That can replace something. One of my doors has to be jacked up. Not the lead-plated one. That one's doing all right. Yeah. Armor-plated. 
armor plated back hatch. Don't mind if I do. That looks so fucking cool. That was me growing up and sure protein shakes was my life. I just, yeah, I just want to make sure that he's at a healthy weight, you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean like, I, I made it, um, I made it burnt orange today, which was a new thing. That door could use replaced. That door needs replaced more. But I might see, I might see what else we got going on for sure. Surely we have a panel that can be messed with. Although I want to keep the lead panel on. That's a winner. Surely I have another panel that needs replaced. That one for sure. This thing really is saving me a small fortune. In repairs. We only have one bumper we can replace. But I must have... I thought I beat the shit out of it, but apparently I didn't. I thought I gave that bumper the business on our last run. But it seems to have weathered that just fine. Still though. What did it take to get the regenerator? Not a lot. It was one of the first things I unlocked. My boys were like that as preteens, teens just walking food holes that didn't gain weight. I mean, like, I don't want him to develop bad eating habits, though, because ultimately... The weather outside of the Appalachians today is looking great, folks. Remember, if you're hiking high into the woods to... That's what it said. Um... Yeah, we do have lore to read. Hold on one second. Let me kind of get caught up here. I am kind of geeked at the idea of putting Arda de decals. Ah, fuck okay. it. Oh, that's kind of neat. We're an official vehicle. What happens when I do this? There we go. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> We're an official art of vehicle. Yeah, when can we upgrade the lights in the garage? Honestly, like the cars, the, the lights on the hood helped a little bit, but it wasn't like a crazy amount. Okay, what was I doing? Lore! Anomaly. Shit, which one was it? One? So I was deep in the zone taking notes. I screwed up a page and threw it aside. That was when it first happened. Something I couldn't see, but I swear it was there. Ate the paper I dropped. Later, I would hear it rummaging in the dumpsters. It's all those old journals we tossed as part of the move. Those drew it out. It would eat cardboard too. I hope you can get it to follow you by dropping scraps as you walked. You'd never see a thing though. It was like a ghost, but you'd sure hear it. Fun. Big fan. Like that a lot. <clears throat> Come here, trunk. Whew. It's a lot of stuff. Oh, I gotta fix my bumper and my panel. 
Uh, let's see. It's as much as that will hold. It's as much as that will hold. Um. That goes in there. I guess... Sorry, I'm just kind of putting everything where it belongs. It's there. Wow, we have got a lot of paint. Expanded lockers, you say? Shreds, you say? I have to build another scrapper before I leave. I think I'm going to try to do one more story mission and that'll be our day. So here's the thing, Lurts. The thing, the thing that keeps me from organizing anything in this game is the simple fact that when I craft, it draws from all the lockers without me having to get it. If I had to go get it from individual lockers, I would sort stuff. But since it pulls from all the lockers without me having to walk over there, I couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. The fuck? Weird. Where'd you come from? Feels right. I have too much stuff. I feel like I have too much stuff in there. Ah, sorry, I got all turned around. <clears throat> I think like I have too much, like shitty healing. like that can definitely go away a lot of tools everything else feels kind of necessary still a lot of storage space All right, what else can we build? Yeah, 
insulated panel, insulated bumper. Another roof rack or another seat rack. Maybe the other seat rack and we just find something to put into it. I mean, jump jacks, I guess. Ion shield. Back seat, back seat tank for gas. Augmented trunk storage, but I need corrupted energy for that. I need unstable energy for extra roof rack storage. I need stuff that goes on the roof. Does this game or does this game not have a bioreactor? It might. I don't I don't dare say yes or no. Man, I got all sorts of racks I can get. I may get the other seat rack. I don't know where I'm gonna put in it though. <sighs> that's unstable energy. That's corrupted energy. I think that's I think that's the storage that goes on the roof. Yeah, that's the storage that goes on the roof. So we need unstable energy for that. So I'll just make what I can make now, which I think. Think needs to include that which means I need whoops I need uh, steel plates to build up some of the stuff taking up the side racks for the seat or the roof I like our build right now I just want more of it Is that not right oh sorry I think that might be about all we can get done on this on on this stop. That goes on the side rack. That goes on a seat rack. I just don't have the energy for it. Our battery build is fine right now. Maybe I just save it. Side floodlights. It's kind of interesting. Whatever. Side battery, lightning rod. Side fuel tank, mini turbine. I kind of like that, and then at some point we just, probably after this run, at some point we get extra storage up here. I think that's my solution. Car's in pretty good shape. I have most of the gear I need. I'm gonna try this one. Ooh, that is a long drive. here. Yeah, this is going to be a hike. I'm genuinely concerned I won't be able to finish this before the day's over.
We'll sure try, though. In and out, Morty. Real quick, 15-minute adventure. Malfunctioning mess is the name of the condition here. I I may just take us straight through. I may only stop for stuff that's like right by the road. Like all this bullshit, that's not happening. There is a res there is a recording out here though. We're gonna stop and get that, even if I gotta run out there on foot and grab it. Feeling pretty good about that. That was fun. What are you hiding for me up here? I did say stuff right by the road. Spicy meatball. Free electrician's kit. That's not insignificant. Oh, I, yeah. Any 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 lore that's voiced over becomes a top priority for me. Oh, maybe it's just that there's a ton of these things out here. That's what makes it a malfunctioning mess, I bet. Ooh. Sound design got me shit in my pants. Sound design got me shit in my pants. be pointed back at the road. You can't have it. Jones, we're going for a ride. Ugh. Ow. Joke's on you. I wanted to come out here. I hurt myself with that. In the last episode, I told you about the curious case of Dr. Ophelia Turner. When it comes to this enigmatic individual, one of three versions is true. Myth, martyr, or monster. To be able to weigh her in turns as heretic, genius, scapegoat, we must first set the stage. When I started down this path to discover who she was, what she did, and ultimately what happened to her, expected to lead me to one of the strangest mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But let me rewind a bit. In Northwest Washington State, there are 3,600 square miles of vibrant wilderness called the Olympic Peninsula. Bounded by water on three sides, 
It was a wonderland for outdoorsy types, with snow-capped mountains and salmon-bearing rivers and pristine rainforests. Up until 1955, it was the residence of 100,000 people, including Ophelia Turner. I think things are going well. It was her birthplace, her hometown, and, it turns out, ground zero and sacrificial lamb for the promise of new technology. In true fashion, the government never comes out and says that's what led to the creation of the Olympic exclusion zone. But the chain of events were in plain sight. Strange accidents leading to the government's claim of eminent domain and subsequent seizure of the peninsula. The evacuation of 100,000 people and the attempt and abject failure at containing the rumors that spread like wildfire. Because it turns out, even with the government's resources at your disposal, keeping secrets is a tricky business. You can bet there was plenty of talk as a result. Lucky me, because I had plenty of questions. This voice actor's great. I really like her voice for the for like the pot like the podcaster narrator voice. That's really good. Oh shit on a dog chat. We gotta go through here fast. Yeah, maybe if I pulse him that gets rid of him. I didn't even think about that. Alright, we're gonna grab a couple of cores and get the fuck out of here. Nah, this place is in good shape. I don't think these are the Healy ones. Everyone I know goes away in the end. And you can have it all. One of you guys started singing Johnny Cash Meat Shield. And now Johnny Cash has become my nervous tick song. My empire of dirt, I will let you down. Oh, you little bitch made motherfucker. Let's test it. Get punked, dummy. Whoops. Yeah. You take that and get out of here. Hello, ASCAP. <laughs> I've got a guy blatantly, uh, Disregarding Boy, I'm fucking up this bumper. Oh, there it is. What are you laughing at? That's not good. That means I done fucked up, eh, Aaron? I wanted to explore this thing too, that sucks. It looks like that ship has sailed.
I have destabilized the zone too much. We want to go here and then turn left. Do we do anything? Uh, we, well, no, we didn't do anything with the shifter, but we did solve, uh, we did solve a quirk with the wipers that every time the wipers went left, they were draining the battery harder. So we got that one solved. So now we can use the wipers and theoretically it's not aggressively draining my battery. Oh, there's some nasty ass aggressive corrosive rain out there. I've got enough space on these guys that I might actually be able to do a little looting on the way out. The zone's not closing that fast. I just would much rather be way closer to the exit than I was if I'm going to fiddle around and risk my life a little bit. Alright, that place is covered in corros corrosive green slime, so that's out. What about... Oh. Maybe I'll just go. Maybe I won't stay there. Maybe I'll just leave. That hurt. Maybe I'll get out and repair some panels and doors and leave this godforsaken realm behind. I don't know if there's any unstable energy on this side of the wall. I think it's all in zone two. Yo, Rusty, what's going on, friend? Pernicious pickpockets. Ugh, I have to go through that, too. Suck. Oh, well. We'll get up here, clean up the car a little bit, and then it shouldn't be as aggressive in this area. Yeah, I remember hearing that, that Trent Reznor said that once, once he heard Johnny Cash, once he heard Johnny Cash sing that song, that he decided that that was no longer his song. Well, I mean, worst case scenario is that if I don't finish this today, all that happens is, uh, that's where we start tomorrow. It's not the end of the world. I'm still streaming tomorrow, you know? It's not the end of the world if I don't, uh, get it done today. How much is left of this run? I don't know. Of this, like, in particular run. What are these? Of this particular run. My only concern is that like I'm not gonna have I'm I'm not gonna I, I basically have to leave in 30 minutes. And I don't think there's a snowball's chance in hell that I'm done with this run in 30 like this outing in 30 minutes. If you hit the map legend it'll tell you what it is. How do I scroll? Oh. Stabilizer. It's so dark here. I might grab these two and then just get out of here. I don't like how dark this place is. It just feels like it, I, I'm going to be prone to making more mistakes. I'll be prone to not seeing something come at me. Or running over something like that. Alright, sounds good, Rusty. Hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow.
Oh. Shit's hitting me from behind. All right, we'll just leave. Fuck you. I'm out. How about that, game? Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to spend time with you. Oh, he still clipped me. I don't think that does anything for us, but I tried it. I need to hang a right. Hey, Red Ghoul, appreciate you. My name's Taffy. I've been a full-time streamer for seven years. A content creator for her, her, her 13. 14 if you're being a little bit generous. Nope, come on, I feel like I missed that. It's Noah. This is me in here. There you go. That's me and Justin giving Noah a hard time in game. I did do I did do voice acting for Pacific Drive. I've got two of those out there. One of them is me playing myself, and one of them is me playing a character called Dennis Wiley. That one was me playing myself. Yeah, no, I went to Ironwood Studios a couple of years ago. I went to Ironwood Studios a couple years ago. Oh, God, this is going to suck. I might do this one just so I can have a little breathing room before I go in here. I went to Ironwood Studios a couple years ago and uh, signed an NDA, and I went in and talked to them about what makes a game good for a streamer on Twitch. And they were... Uh, they were very appreciative for the time spent. And so as a gesture of... Ow. For a just as a gesture of, of of just sort of like, hey, thanks Taffy for taking the time. They um offered me a chance to put my voice in the game. That's not what I meant to hit. I should come to Ironwood Studios more often. I've known about that for a long time, but I've actually not been able to talk to y'all about it because of the NDA that I signed. Until just recently. Alright, Rusty, sounds good, man. I hope you have an awesome Monday. Alright, that's all the repair putty I've got. I just wanted a chance to breathe. There's a gas station on the way through we'll try to hit. Um, so yeah, anyway. That's one of the two times that my my voice appears in there. Yeah, Jeff! I just couldn't bring myself to switch games today. I was too into it. Today had been kind of a, an emotional roller coaster of a day. So all I really wanted to do was to play this. So I gave myself permission to just play this. I do have to wrap up here in about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, I still have to go through the through the wall. That's crazy. I still have to wrap up in about 15 or 20 minutes. So 
to go pick up my son from school. I may have to make some more putty. Might be. Back right panel. I mean, I think I'm going the right way. Excuse me. I think I just got my head cut off. Guess I'm going down here. Oh, shit. What if we just blow through, huh? Oh, my God. Where in the world could I turn left in all this? I don't think that's the solution. I gotta find a more surefire way through here. I don't know how to get out of here without having a way marker. But the only other time I've gone through here, the game was telling me how to get out. I do also love that How's My Driving sticker. That's my favorite pickup so far. Although Gary Gygax and my little... Oh, shit. Flame-throwing Godzilla on the, do on the dash are up there, too. I don't know, maybe it's over here. I'll be in deep shit if this zone collapses on me. Shit. Dude, what the fuck? I guess we're backtracking. Don't care for that.
Well, that's how we get in. Now I gotta find a way out. Gotta be close. I have regrets. On the opposite side of the wall? Yeah, I mean, we're inside the wall right now. I'm trying to find my way out. Sure, as shit, not it. Oh, is it down there? We're we trying to find a place. We gotta, be we gotta find a spot to jump down with the car, preferably. I don't want to do the back half of this on foot. What if we just hit the rail real hard? I wonder. Also, what's going on with this glowy area? Oh. If this zone collapses, I'm collapses. I am proper fucked. I am buggered walk down and let it teleport. It's actually not a bad idea. I think. Don't want to go there. I do want to get the car closer, though. Yeah, maybe I gotta come back in and uh, go back out and come back in at a different spot. So that doesn't work. Mission failed successfully. Try to figure out what the hell we're doing here. We're just trying to leave. I might just grab this one and get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm over here now. Uh, 
<clears throat> Never a doubt in my mind. I don't care for the mysterious random singing right now. Don't they know that I'm going through a traumatic experience? I also believed in me, never a doubt. I hate that singing. That was it. That's the whole thing. That's all the singing. Yeah, plot twist is the mannequins. That lightning rod has made it to where I haven't had to recharge my battery once. I also keep getting the shit shocked out of me. Which I'm not a huge fan of. I think this is a gas station up here. Yep, time to go. Right after I loot some shit and gas up my car. Holy hell. Those things are so great. I love them. Playing my flute while I loot that dead kid's body. Not 20, let's fucking go. Dumpster Pearl! I gotta drop something. Ooh, here. Did great. I'm proud of you. Love you, friendly dumpster. This is decidedly not worth it. I should go. I'm going the right way. This will probably be where we pick up tomorrow, chat. I don't want to. I don't want to launch into a story, a uh, storied mode, and then have to dip out to go get bug. I'll go get my son. You know, get myself a nice, leisurely walk up there, and then we'll pick it up tomorrow morning. I go live around eight thirty Monday through Friday, uh, but I don't really start playing the game until about nine. So if you're wanting to check back in and sort of pick up where we left off, that's a great time to come find me. Oh, sorry, 8.30 Eastern. That, that's pretty critical. Ah, oh, shit. This was supposed to be the place where I caught my breath. <laughs> well, extreme conditions will be Taffy's problem to deal with tomorrow. We are 100% just going to blow through here. I'd like to fix my door real quick before I close up. That's the last one I can do, though. I fucking hate the way this Silent Hills ass sound in place sounds. 
this side of the door. Wait, we can't, oh my God. We can't just save and come back to it right here. I'll leave it up. I don't care. I'll leave, I'll leave it running. Only save at the garage. Well, today I learned. This shit will still be up on my computer when I la <laughs> launch it tomorrow. <laughs> Cause there's no way, there's no way I can knock out this zone and the next zone and whatever this, oh, and, and, and there's a tape in here. I'll just leave it up. Don't tempt them. What, what are the other odds? I just tell my youngest son to grow the fuck up. <laughs> it's time you started taking care of yourself. You walk yourself home. You fix your own meals. I'm pretty sure it auto saves when you enter an area. <laughs> How sure? 